Cecilia Memela. Uh, the chairperson of the Women in Presidency portfolio in the South African Parliament in Cape Town. Well, we're getting reports because there was a time when some of us couldn't be part of the caucus uh, because of extra deployments by our, by our parliament. Uh, and we, they were read out to us and we, we then said, we picked up a few areas where we wanted more information put in. Um, because we feel we have to work as a collector. We're fortunate to be in, in South Africa where the oversight and evaluation of the different uh, departments is done and the information is fed back to, to Parliament. Now, it's different with the African countries. Not all, some of them. They are not at the same level. And we are now concerned about HIV and AIDS, cancer, and more education has to be actually done. We have to move into the all levels for people to understand what we're talking about and ensure that the medical faculty are ensuring that people, when they go to the clinics, they get the necessary medications. Encouraging the family members also to help those who are to take their medication to take it diligently. Otherwise, we won't be able to counter some of the diseases. As we are talking about this, Let's remember, if we don't have the necessary drugs and people being able to actually accept their conditions, the war against HIV and AIDS, for an example, TB, because once your immune system is down, you are open to catching other diseases. Now we have to try, by all means, help those people. And when a woman goes to the clinic and is diagnosed HIV positive, they are lucky today because there are drugs that will counter the transfer of the ailment to the child. And that is one area we've got to be diligently working hard on. And it's a killer. And unfortunately, the women are the worst off. Because migrant workers in mines and other places, they conduct quite a lot of diseases, and the women will conduct that. But we, we, we're no more worried about that because there are so many other ways that can actually improve the lives of women. We're crying out, Africa, case study is South Africa. Join hands and understand how we can actually salvage our people out of that rut. The thing right now is, if we all talk the same language and we walk the same paths, we are able to make our country, our continent, a healthy area. And that is my dream.